Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Sunday, the 11th of December, and the time is 4.30 p.m. It's a good day to be alive, to have the breath of life, to have the breath of God, to have your soul replenished and your soul to prosper in these last and final hours of the, the, of the world and humanity as it is before we go into heaven and before we get collected in the cloud by our Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, this teaching is on uh, the origin of the Christmas tree. Um, oh, sorry, it is the 17th day of Kislev, the year 5783 of the creation. Um, so yeah, the origin of the Christmas tree. When I was young, sitting in church and it was always the hype to Christmas and you know as kids it's our tradition we we wait for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the teachings would go in that month of December we'll build up the teaching toward Christmas and the, 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 the stories the nativity plays come out it's all excitement and tinsels and bling and silver and gold and all these colors come out and I used to sit in, sit in church and, and wonder now, uh, where does this Christmas tree fit in? Because I know about the baby Jesus born in Bethlehem, but there is no mention of this tree, of the Christmas tree and why we decorate it. And, but I, I, just, I just thought about it, but you know, steeped in tradition, we must just adhere and we mustn't ask questions basically you don't ask these questions so um brothers and sisters i want to bring you a teaching a very interesting teaching on how satan deceives the world and how he infiltrated the christian faith with his works and his deception and we are blind to it now i in these last days all this is coming out now the truth is being revealed. We'll start off our teaching with uh, at the end, G uh, Revelation 12. Revelation 12, verse 9. Where is it? Sorry. Uh, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. A third of the angels were cast out with him. And in Job uh, 1 verse 7, it says, uh, the, um, Satan came to stand there with uh, God, with the angels. And God said to him, where do you come from? And he said, from going to and fro in the earth. And yet it says, he was cast out into the earth. Right, he is here. That is his great deception that is here and is hiding himself from plain sight. But he is here. That's the only place he can dwell. Right? So um John, first John chapter three, verse seven to nine. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. Genesis 3, Garden of Eden. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for that, for that miracle. Oh, sorry, brothers and sisters, it's really piping hot. Whew, and I've got no air on here. Um, Jeremiah 50. Now, I just want you to know that Jesus came. New Testament is Jesus. He was prophesied in the Old Testament. Now, here is Jeremiah. No? Jeremiah 50. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard, publish and conceal not, 
Say Babylon is taken, Bal is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. Now the Lord is speaking against Babylon. Now here it is, brothers and sisters, this is the main installment, Jeremiah 10, where the origins of the tree comes from. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the ways of the heathen, Learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That is, the, those, those that study the zodiac calendar. You study the zodiac calendar. Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. I was one of them. I used to, I, I claimed that I was Aries born, born and bred, and I was proud of it. I was dismayed at the fact, not about the Bible, I was dismayed at the, the, the working that I'm, in, that I'm Aries. For the customs of the people are vain. Look there. I, I am Aries. That is how we all see each other, see ourselves. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Here we go. The Christmas tree. This is the Babylonians, pagans. The devil worshippers. God is speaking against these things. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of the tree out of the forest. It is said that the Babylonian god Nimrod died and then he got, he got reincarnated as a tree. This is how Satan has infiltrated the, Christ, the Christian faith. And how Christmas was, how Christ was introduced into Christmas into pagan rituals the note this is before jesus came on the scene they were already celebrating christmas or we'll take christ oh miss mistletoe this is where it comes from for one cut the tree out of the forest the work of the hands of the workman with an axe they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Look at the base of your Christmas tree. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great and thy name is great is great in might. Who would not fear thee, O God, King of nations? For to thee doth it appertain, for as much as among all wise men of the nations, and in all their kingdoms there is none like unto thee. But they are also brutish and foolish. The stock is a doctrine of vanities. Silver spread into plates. Um, the work, workmanship of silver is spread into plates, and plates are made of fine silver. It, silver spread into plates is brought from Tarshish. Tarshish is Seville, where this false lookout is tying in, brothers and sisters. Tarshish is Seville, where this false messiah, this is, this is in Spain, where this false messiah in Jerusalem that's performing miracles as Jesus did, this antichrist, is from this place. And gold from Uyupas, the work of the workmen and of the hands of the founder, blue and purple is their clothing. These are, this blue and purple comes from um, the, a snail and it was made in Tyre, the king of Tyre, Lebanon today. It is still there. It was Phoenician city. It was a Phoenician capital. And they were uh, Baal worshippers. Pagan gods were their deities. And they sacrificed babies unto idols. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting King. At His wrath, the earth shall tremble and nations shall not be able to abide in His indignation. Now, brothers and sisters, I have to cut it short as I'm running out of time. But I would have loved to cover more in this chapter. It is so profound. I read it again for the first time since um, April. Jeremiah, I read this chapter and it is 
amazing what is in here. Hallelujah. We thank you for listening and uh, I, I hope you enjoy.